So today's video will be over this Halo Gold Smoky Eye and we're going to go ahead and jump right into our face primer. Today I'll be using the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Green Face Primer. This helps reduce redness all over the face. Now starting with our face, we'll be going with the CoverGirl Outlast Foundation in 810 Classic Ivory and this e.l.f. brush, I think it's their powder brush, I'm not too sure, but it is from their newer line. Now taking the Alme Blemish Control Concealer, I will just be applying this over some pimples and little acne scars and all that just to help cover them up. Now taking the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, I'm in 120 Classic Ivory. I'll be applying this under my eyes, on my nose, a little bit on my chin, and just blending that out. It has a salmon kind of color, so it kind of counteracts with some of the darkness. Now taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and my Morphe E48 brush, I'll just be applying this basically everywhere I put the concealer. I've been loving this brush for this reason. Now taking my IT Cosmetics brow pencil in the color Universal, I'll just be kind of shaping and filling in my brows. I really like this brow pencil, I just think the shade Universal isn't very fitting for everybody's eyebrow color. Now taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and starting with that kind of creamy shade on my Morphe M504 blending brush, I'm just putting that all over my eye kind of just as a base. Now taking that more taupey grayish shade on that same Morphe brush, I will just be putting that kind of in the crease and more above the crease to start to build up some color and definition. Now taking that kind of a lighter brown shade on my Morphe M330 brush and I will be focusing this more into the crease since this brush is more tapered at the end. We really want to focus that color in the crease to build it up and make it deeper. Now taking the darkest charcoal black shade on my Morphe M433 brush and we will be packing this color on the outer V and the inner corner really making sure to make that black color super deep and rich so I will be going in multiple times. Now back in with my Morphe M504 blush just to blend out the edges. Now dipping into the original Naked palette with the shade Half Baked on this Target Up and Up flat shader brush, we will be applying this to the center part of our lid that had no color and I will be going back and forth with this color and the black and blending everything out in together. Now starting with the same steps on this eye, starting with the black shade and my Morphe M433 brush, we'll be packing that black color on, then going back in with half baked and blending everything together with the taupey shade we used in the very beginning. Now I'm just taking some concealer to clean up the edges of my shadow and this is like the Real Techniques um, foundation brush I believe and I'm just using that to get a nice crisp line. Mm -hmm. 
Now taking that same taupey shade on my Morphe E18 pencil brush, I will be putting this shade on my lower lash line and smudging it out with the liner I just applied. And the liner is the L'Oreal Infallible Liner. Now I'll be taking that cream shade and highlighting my brow bone and inner corner using a flat shader brush from Morphe. Now taking the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara, I'll be applying it to my top and bottom lashes. Now on my Morphe E4 angled brush, I will be taking my Rimmel Natural Bronzer, and this is an O21 Sunlight, and I will be bronzing up my cheekbones, forehead, and my jawline, and a little bit on my nose. Now taking my Real Techniques blush brush and my NYC Color Wheel Mosaic blush in 723 Pink Cheek Glow, I'll be applying this on the apples of my cheeks. Then for highlighter, I'll be taking my Morphe 310 Fan Brush and the Mary Luminizer highlighter and applying that on my cheekbones, my nose, and my upper lip just a little bit. Now for lips, taking the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is in 10 Nude Flush. I'll be applying this, and don't let the name fool you, they do not dry completely matte. They are more of a satin finish. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I will have everything in the description bar down below, so please subscribe before you leave and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.